Hey, good morning, everyone back in the States and area area. Uh, happy Tuesday morning. I'm standing here. Our day is about over. I'll let you get a quick glimpse of the, and we are standing here. This is the just surprise. Yesterday evening, we were out walking and Christine, this is her property. She saw Carla. She's taking a bath. She saw her walking and started yelling and so excited because Christine was in Carla's very first widow group. And she is doing amazing now. Carla helped sponsor her. She's on her feet. She's got a wonderful garden. In fact, she's now just dug this cassava. It's fresh cassava root. She just she was just out there digging it because she wanted to give us a present. And so we wanted we wanted you guys to share this with us. So anyway, and I just wanted them to, to speak to you a little bit about Carla, just go ahead and give Christine's story a little bit so she could know. Mm. Just tell her, Carla. Okay. She was one of the first widows in our widow group. And God did a miracle because she was praying for her son to get school fees. And they had been praying and fasting for three days. And they asked us to come and pray with them on the last day. And the miracle was that I had a problem of detached retina. I had to fly home to get it worked on. And on the airplane, I met somebody from Montgomery, Alabama, and we got to talking, and he and his wife decided to sponsor, in answer to this lady's prayer, to sponsor her son, and he's now a, what do we call him, priest? Priest, yeah, priest. now, yeah, he's a parish priest. Parish priest. Yeah. Yes, so his dream came true, but God orchestrated it all. Yeah. So, this is, uh... So anyway, this is Christine. Does she want to say anything? Because yeah. it's Pastor JJ can translate. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate Carla because I was among the very first widows that she took care of. We had um, other women, but I was the leader of our group. That time, uh, uh, people, a lot of women, uh, cowardice from, uh, you know, telling exactly their situation, especially when they are HIV positive. But Carla asked whether I would be openly share my story as uh, living positively and also encouraging other fellow women and walk with them in a group and lead them as group of ladies or women, widows who are living positively. So later on, I started leading this group, and Carla would release a car with a driver, and I would move with these ladies around, fellow women around, to support them. That encouraged a lot of uh, widows who were living HIV positively um, because there was transport provided. Carla gave us the car with the driver and so would go to the government facilities to access um, um, ARV, that is um, treatment for, uh, for HIV. The government facility where we could access medication was quite far away from where we live, uh, but Carla had to uh, talk to the government and the, uh, the health department to help bring that services nearer to uh, the L center, L center, which was a little bit closer to where we live. There was a time that Carla was traveling back to the state and um, I had a son who was struggling with studies and Carla miraculously advocated for my son. Now he finished his course, now he's um, a Paris priest under Anglican setting, is now um, working in the Diocese of Kidgum as the Reverend. 
She's very excited for this because my uh, son was um, a school teacher, but she, I mean, uh, he had a calling of God, but had no support at all. But what Kala did help the child to cross over to the side of what God was calling him to become. And that's why um, he's now the Reverend. And that's the most exciting story for my family. Amen. I cannot finish. <laughs> is all the stories that uh, Carla <laughs> help us with and so I beg to stop here and thank you very much. Amen. <laughs> I just I just want you guys to to know stories like that are just constant and that's what you're doing. You look at these lives and they're lost, they're forgotten, they're just out of sight and yet they're so valuable and little things can be such a big deal and to watch this lady you it just we just watched her harvesting this cassava. So living positively, working hard, joyous smile, wonderful family. This is what's going on in Uganda through Lamplighter Ministries. This is what Pastor JJ and his wife are helping us do. This is the heritage that Carla has laid, and this is the result of your fruit, your sowing, and your involvement. So we just want to thank you. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.